we are going to talk about positive affectivity. Positive affectivity is the optimism, the hopefulness, the enthusiasm in a person, the ability to see the brighter side of things. Maybe like a bird who sings when it, even if it is a little dark, the bird knows that the sun will rise. Being positive does not mean that you don't experience negative feelings. You do, but you are still able to see the brighter side of things, realistically. Absolutely. For example, a student who has to reappear in his exams may think, oh no, I have to reappear, I have to give the exam again. But someone with high positivity will think, okay, I have experience, this time I'll do better. I'll, I know what to do this time. Or in the current situation, some of us might be thinking that we are compromising on work. But with some positivity, we can also think that we are able to give time to our family and our hobbies that we may not have experienced all these years. Correct. So, how does being positive and having positive effectivity help us? Basically, I think we all have been, as I said, in a state of challenge. And one of the important things we miss out here is, in, in spite of looking at what we have, we've been looking at what we don't have. Correct. I don't say that you have to not mitigate the risk, but always there is a there is a, this feeling with all of us that we always look to us from a dimension of what is missing within us. The what, grass on the other side is always green. Exactly. So while you see that, you miss out the things that you have already in the position of. Okay. And here is where the lies lies the crux of positive affectivity. If you see within like what you have got or maybe for that matter what you are in position of, you suddenly realize that you have things, resources and uh, people around you, maybe things around you that you can use or make sure that you are able to live with a lot of hope and conviction. Now, let me tell you one important thing. In this context, we have been looking at the deficiencies or lacunas within us and that has created, created a mindset and that mindset typically is called a scarcity mindset. We are in a perpetual state of fear that I may lose out something because of this. While you don't have to fall into this state, a simple method, a simple rather exercise that you will be able to do to come out of the state is one the inculcation of feeling of gratitude for what you've got yeah. the simple act of saying thank you or simple act of appreciating of what you have will change the disposition of yours from despair to hope from negativity to positivity and just as a matter of fact you can start practicing it at your home by saying thank you to your wife thank you mm -hmm. to your husband thank you maybe to the family that is supporting you in the crisis thank you to your boss thank you to your organization which has maybe in the challenging times have responded to you with a lot of care and facilities. So what you need is look at what you are possessing. This creates a sense of abundance, a sense of fulfillment. Think for a matter of fact, if you close your eyes for a moment and you can see that suddenly you are not able to see and within a fraction of maybe within some time, say not in a fraction of seconds, but in two or three seconds, you open your eyes, you'll come to know that you can see. The other part is, there are people in this world who cannot see. So you have the possession of sight, the vision, in that context. Look at the things that you possess. Look at the things that you've got. That will create a sense of gratefulness. Look at the sun, look at the Look at the sky, look at the trees, look at the surrounding around you. You will start feeling the 
gratefulness that you are able to live you are able to stay fit you are able to stay happy and this will give you the strength to stay hopeful convinced and positive i hope this should work this is a simple thing and that this simple thing creates some magnitude of effect in your disposition that is more wholesome okay. yes so with this i hope you'll be able to practice positive effectivity and sustain the challenging times thank you